Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Blue Archive. In the last part, we started off a new event, Rowdy and Cheery, and it's definitely Rowdy and Cheery. Hiyaki, or not, excuse me, uh, Jihanna is visiting Hiyaki Yako on a field trip, and as you might expect it from Jihanna, uh, it's chaos. Uh, but Yumika is trying her best to keep it all under control, and uh, yeah, this is a long story so far. We're, we're four episodes in, and we've, we've, it's already been an hour. Uh, in the last part, so let's see how uh, let's see what happens next because uh, we got more combat to do Flower viewing after a meal after all that fun and excitement. I'm sure you can guess what's next Exactly no better way no matter how amazing the exhibit nothing can be enjoyed on an empty stomach You'll have a chance to fill yourself to the brim with a traditional hiyaki yaku cuisine at this popular restaurant Please enjoy the charming atmosphere of Hiyakiyako's fine dining scene for lunch. Alright. Uh oh, here we go. Speak of lunch. <laughs> once, once the words fine dining have been uttered, I simply cannot turn away. Haruna? Haruna? I must commend your tour on our tour guide's choice. The menu here is exemplary. However, what is the true meaning of fine dining? Eating at this des designated place, gorging themselves on our predetermined meals. This is all cuisine amounts. This cuisine amounts to on this trip. It cannot be so. Fine dining is the height of existence. It should explode in a beautiful firework, shining with some variety and challenging our very understanding of life. I did not follow any of that. What she's saying is that we gotta try all the yummy food that Yaki Yako has to offer. And she's totally right. Let's go! It's not like I could stop them. And you couldn't even if you tried. Yeah, they never change. But it seems kind of fun, doesn't it? You think? Maybe we should go too. Sure, why not? Please come back. We're on a very tight schedule today. Oh dear. What do I do, Sensei? Let's follow them for now. Oh boy. Mm, yes, the soy sauce seasoning on this chicken skewer is strong. The slight hint of ginger prevents it from becoming overpowering. Check this out! It's manju with ma manj manjayaki in it. I don't even know what that is. You bet you'd never find something like this in Jihana. I'm gonna try in some wasabi and chili sauce. I love how this grilled squid actually fills me up. Not only do they use an entire squid in one order, but the fact that it's a giant squid. Chef's kisses. A challenge. A challenge? I just have to eat 10 squids within 5 minutes? Now we're talking. Something tells me that she'd be able to do that instantly. I'm supposed to eat this rice ball and tempura together? Like tendon? How weird. Should I just go for it? Whoa! Excellent! We sampled all the food stalls in this area. There's no time to waste, foodies. Go on to the next! Yes, ma'am! Found them. Over here, Sensei. Thank you, Subaki. Everyone this way. Are they, really, are they even human? I'm truly in awe of how rapidly they can move through the stalls. They're eating faster than we can run. Away from me! <laughs> Must take Mace. Hey, Sensei, it'll be over before we lose sight of them. Oh, eh, no. They're kind of hard to control. Much like the hot springs department. This is the next area of food stalls. How should I say this? They're rather neat. This super spicy chicken skewer is one thing, but this candied apple formulated with only bitter and sour flavors? Is it super yummy? This must be a Hiyakiyaku special. What? She likes it? We're just gonna have we're just gonna have to up up the ante, ain't we? Step right up! What I got here is rice balls with super pickled plum sauce! This real this this real special sauce is made up of concentrate and pickled plum an extra ten times! Contrast is sweet. Sarah is making my head go wee. Give me more. She's a monster, but I ain't giving up. Please enjoy this local dish. The toast with cassia, cassia jam. It's our very own concoction of the infamous sour, sour fish pureed into a jam. The spread went warm my tummy. It's delicious. Hakaro soba. Yummy. Fermented herring ramen. Savoring flavor. Wow, wow, wow! 
sea cucumber takoyaki vanilla parfait. Stop right there. I'm just confirmed that you're offering without a food license. <laughs> Please don't worry yourself. Why not? Food licenses, permits, why do these things matter? Have the opportunity to experience new cuisines before land is exactly what a gourmet field trip should be. Should be. And if you come in the way of our fine dining, the gourmet research society will not stand idly by. Don't take it away. I was having. I was serious. It was seriously delicious. You're the only one who thought that. It's a true bona fide field trip experience. I approve. You should listen to the tour guide. It's highly discouraged to eat food from unlicensed vendors. Here comes Fuka trying to talk some sense into them. I see where your loyalties lie, Fuka. I thought you of all people would understand the Gourmet Research Society's mission. This isn't a matter of ideology. It's a food it's food safety. Oh boy. Here we go. Poor Oh, poor Fuka. Got the short end of the stick on this one too. Which they probably they probably fucking kidnapped her as well. She probably didn't want to be here. She probably got kidnapped. Again. For the millionth time. Poor Fuka. Ah, uh, you're Fuka's pitching in. I am liking the new, like, battle environments, though. They look so cool. Fine, I must confess, we may have gotten a tag carried away in the excitement of the field trip. In hindsight, the sea cucumber takoyaki vanilla, vanilla parfait was a little crazy, huh? I'm relieved we resolved it peacefully. Peacefully? That wasn't peaceful at all! But I'll have to wrap up an unlicensed stall before. Hmm? The entire food store disappeared without a trace? Oh shit. Be quick. What's wrong, Yumika? No, nothing at all. Let's turn on to the restaurant, Yumika. We're already behind schedule, aren't we? Oh dear, we're incredibly late! Pina, Kaede, please wrap the students here and lead them to the next location. I'll collect the students that stay behind at the restaurant. Oh boy. Yumika's trying so hard. I'm trying to stay positive, but Pina's right. I couldn't keep us on track with the itinerary. Again! He's trying so hard. I mean, she is dealing with a bunch of wackos, so I can't really blame her. If anything, this is making me want, making me want to pull her even more and more. Memory lane. Fanta fantasy night. Well, I thought this was called memory lane. We're still slightly behind schedule. But I'm relieved that at least we managed to get manage getting the Gianna students unpacked without much issue. Thanks to Sensei's help. That was an experience. <laughs> but we're still rather behind schedule. I still need to check that everything is set up for the task of task of course, but someone needs to retrieve the students from the dormants. Oh, oh, I can help with that. Isn't it rather late for you, Kaide? Are you sure? I'm a little tired, but no proper laid back down from her duties. I could just consider it extra training. Let's get going then. Oh boy. I believe the starting point was near here. What is this a test of courage? It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, but here they are. Thank you all for your hard work. How was that? Not too scary? It was perfect. It's adorably terrifying. I hope this lives up to their expectations. I don't know how much this will actually test the courage. I think it's right around here. 
Boo! You must be tired of being up this late. You want to borrow a pill later? Thank you, President Tsubaki. We're honored, but we've, ha we've heard your pills are so comfortable you might never wake up. That's correct. I take a lot of pride in my pillow selection. Fuck, dude. Lady, where's... Can you hook me up with some of those pillows? Why do you say that like like it's a good thing? I want a comfy... I want to sleep on a comfy pillow. She needs to hook me up with one. We're about two-thirds of the way through the course. It's nice to have a win, a win under our belt. I'm deeply grateful for everyone's hard work on this Courage Festival. Courage Festival? Is that what she's calling it? I suppose festival isn't the correct word choice here. It's a test of courage. That's what it is. But in a way, it reminds me of one. Everyone's working hard on their dedicated role to create a successful experience for the participants. And the Gihanna students are able to walk away excitedly talking about their favorite parts and happy to have it been here. Isn't that, is that a festival in its own right? I'm somehow convinced. I mean, she does make a good argument. You understand? The pressure to be the perfect guy was rather overwhelming at first. But I began to view all this as the festival of a lifetime, and I found that rewarding in its own right. You molded this difficult situation into a manageable one just by shifting your perspective. You're a true inspiration, Yumika. Consider me your, your ardent pupil for life. Really? I never really thought of that myself, myself, myself that way. Uh-oh. That's Makoto. I recognize, I recognize that silhouette anywhere. Spoken like a true leader, ignore reality and live only by your own perceptions. That very distinct laugh. You recognize me by voice alone? <laughs> That's difficult for even me to comprehend my overwhelming aura. I mean, I can... I can actually... I can actually agree with her on that one. Uh, <laughs> is definitely a... Uh, she's definitely, she definitely has an aura to her. Uh, hi, hi, it's the Yaki Yaku sisters and sensei. Hi from me. I'm really sorry about this. I tried to stop her. The Pandemonium Society? What brings you to the test of courage? I think we'll be rather surprised by the answer. You see, we're here to make you happy. I was about to say that. Luckily, I, Kyogoku Kyo, Kyo Satsuki, am a generous person whose patience knows no bounds. I would, be willing, I would willingly hand over the last strawberry on top of the cake to my adorable little sister. On top of that, I can agree with you, Satsuki. Yeah, the Royal Pandemonium Society of Officers are known for their hearts of gold. Are they? Ibuki, maybe. Maybe Iroha. Actually, Iroha, Iroha is decent. I don't know about the rest of them. <laughs> Shiaki, I don't know. Shiaki is like the only wild card. I don't know much about Shiaki. So I can't really say anything about her. But the rest of them? Mm, I don't know. Where did you pull that one out of, Makoto? She just says whatever she thinks sounds, uh, she sounds good. We hold the generosity of the great Makoto as I extend a helping hand to London Academies. My kindness is deeper than the ocean the more, and more vast than the night sky. That's a little, that's, that's kind of an exaggeration. Undoubtedly, the students of Gihenna will hear the tales of my charity and shout their praise to the Pandemonium Society all throughout the district. This will be recorded in history books as the moment of the student body fell from the great Makoto and the great magnificent leadership. That's right, folks, the dignified leader who stands atop the Pandemonium Society. She said that about herself, though. I truly appreciate your consideration, um, great chairman of Gihanna, but... And, hey, Makoto, what's that thingy over there? Hmm? Boo! Oh, no, Ibuki! Ah. Uh, wow. Oh boy. Ibuki? Everyone panic, emergency! Ibuki, are you okay? Satsuki? Calm down. Oh god. What are those things? Huh? I didn't approve those. Calm down. I'll contact the students in charge of costuming first. Hello, guy team here. I'm sending you my coordinates now, but I've encountered some strange ghost costumes here that were not pretty approved. Huh? If no one was assigned to this location, then that must mean... Help! I'm scared! Iroha! Makoto! 
It's okay, Buki. Come here. I won't let anything happen to you. This doesn't seem like it was part of the plan. The Akiyaka students are, so, are way too shaken up for that to be, for that to be true. Uh, how dare they? I'll, I'll take you down with my, with my hypnosis. Sure. Go ahead. That sounds like a great idea. Everyone stop. What is that? Everyone stay behind me. Can't you see that Ibuki's crying, Iroha? Bring out that immediately. For usual, I don't know what that is. And even if I did, we're not in Gehenna. And I can't bring anything out. But I can't just sit around while Ibuki's crying. Pandemonium Society, protect Ibuki and engage the threat. Yay, charge, charge! Oh boy. It's a ghost! Ghost in the forest! Tank! Kill it? That was your goal? Well, despite Makoto's threats, it's standing on its ground. We'll have to abandon Paul to political concerns. And Ibuki's name will bring down the threat no matter what. Your own sure doesn't mess around when it comes to Ibuki. It's scary. We need to ensure the Pandemonium Society's safety here. Could you handle that, please, Mina? But what will you do? What will you do, Yumika? I'll um Whoa, seems like a commotion over there. More people? I brought them to the assigned meeting spot, but what in the world are those? What are the, what in the world are those things? They really can't catch a break, can they? <laughs> it sure looks like a party over here. We need to talk about Uncanny Valley. They definitely don't look like the other ghosts we've seen so far. Check that out. It looks like a real ghost. Maybe it's a yokai since we're in Yaki Yaki Yako and all. The best way to find out is to shoot it at it. Hell yeah, bring out the big guns. We're on the same page, let's go. Oh boy. Did you not hear me say ow? Holy cow, what's wrong with these psycho Gehenna brats? Nothing phases them. Look, it's freaking out. Who knew who, who knew you could hurt yokai with bullets? Not enough yet, we gotta teach it a lesson. As long as we have bullets left, we ain't done. That's right. The yokai is probably a local menace trying to bewitch people and the other bad stuff. Mess it up real good. <laughs> I guess they thinking about the population. I guess I think they have good. I think they have good intentions. It's a feast, a party, a festival. Festival. Oh boy, she said. They, she said the word. Festival. That's right. You're not scared of a festival, right, Ibuki? Smart. Yes, yeah, Ibuki, we're just celebrating a local festival. That must be it. It's a festival. Oh, that explains why it didn't work. I can't hit. But I can't. I can't hypnotize a festival. I don't think you can hit. Well, I guess she did hypnotize uh, Mako, so I can't say that she can't do hypnosis. It'd be a waste not to enjoy it while we're here, Ibuki. You're, you're all monsters through and through. Retreat for now. Oh boy. Hey, it's escaping! Aw oh man, we haven't used our bolts yet. Don't run, you dirty yokai! Fight like a demon you are! Should we chase it down? Oh boy. There, there. Let it go let it do what it wants. Go down this path to finish the tour. Fine. I wanted to blast it more though. Poor you poor Yumika. If not for the Gianna students, we wouldn't have been able to get back on track with the itinerary. Yeah, my thanks. <laughs> I like the way you think. This is Gianna's power, which is basically my power if you really think about it. I'm just glad Buki's okay. 
Yes, yes, I had lots of fun. I don't know if I can still say this, but I hope you enjoy the remainder of the, te of the test of courage. Is it okay to take pics? Like, how cool would it be to have a selfie with a ghost? I mean, you're not going to just run into a ghost because you want to. Boo! <laughs> ask me who ask me to see! What am I supposed to say after that? Come here, go see one, two, three, cheese! Well, they're enjoying themselves, so I guess that's what counts. Poor Yumika. You managed to get through the first day by some miracle. But this entire venue was has was has been a near disaster. Am I really good enough to do this? Who's trying so hard? She's got the ear wiggles! Oh boy. Alright. Former Institute building. That's at the former Institute building. Let's teach their own. Those Gihanna brats are crazy! Insane! Mental! I was on my hands and knees cleaning up that dang observatory floor. And what'd they do? Turn it into a dang playground! I heard you're the strongest if you're having fun. I don't want to hear it! Only crazy people would think of planting bombs and make a slide. How would that even work? What do we what do we do ha what what we have done if that if they went and scratch up them tiles? We'd be all we'd be the ones cleaning it all up. Oh, it's Arata. It's this lady lady. Y'all why y'all praising and admiring them? They're the enemy, you know. The enemy. Lita, you're finally back. I forgot about this lady lady. How'd, how'd they pretend to be a super crazy yokai and scare them off during the test of courage operation go? We had to do a tactical retreat. Tactical! I saw them on the way here. They were blasting off every firearm they had like they were at a festival or something. Everything was blowing up like fireworks. Well, shoot. They gave me a damn fright when they, when they up and said they were going to dig a hot spring and use this as decorations for a resort at the workshop. The way they handle things is on a whole another level. What do we come up with? There's a step ahead. We can't make this stuff up. I guess that's Gianna for you. Would you try Kasaya Jam Toast if I made it for you? Are you kidding? You were just sniffing the stuff made me pass out. I swear the stink is still in my clothes. That weirdo girl was enjoying it like last night's supper for some reason. My jaw was on the floor. There ain't a food, food, there ain't a food in this world she wouldn't eat. I mean, I, I would agree with that statement. Y'all are relaxing and yapping like you're sharing good old memories about a around a campfire. Don't you think you're taking this a little too lightly? The tree Daddy's ritual is tomorrow. Tomorrow! It's only supposed to happen once a year and it's a, and it's a memorial thing first, ain't it? And those hoity-toity festival people are throwing their weight around trying to host our festival like they own the place. Just for some stupid Gihanna brats. If the tree Daddy's could talk and be screaming about the injustice of it all, that's for sure. Them Gihanna brands of tourists that, that want to see our specials, ain't they? And Hiakiyaka's whole thing is welcoming tourists and being nice to them. The Tree Days ritual has been less about us and more about praying for good fortunes recently, anyway. So maybe the tree is actually a real thrill to have all these people visiting. Oh boy. What the hell am I supposed to do if y'all ain't on my side, neither? Uh -uh. Take a deep breath, leader. It'll be okay. Ah, tomorrow I'm gonna reclaim what's ours. I won't let them do what they want with the, with the Morius Festival. If you think about it, then we kind of we're, we're kind of blown. We're, we're kind of gonna be blown up our own festival. <laughs> that's, that's certainly true. Yeah, you think that's okay? It's kind of embarrassing. No, it's not. Tomorrow's ritual ain't even the real thing. So who cares if their fake festival gets ruined? We're gonna send a clear message to Gihanna and the rest of them. Hiakiyako's vessels belong to Hiakiyako. Therefore, they belong to us, Morio. Morio. Gotta admit, that sounds pretty nice. Vessels are Morios. Technically, we've only, we've only lost the Gihanna students so far, not the Hiakiyako normies. I'm kind of motivated to try hard, to try hard tomorrow. Same. Just remember that Chizu is gonna be performing with the Tree of Deities ritual. I'll be watching her do the offering on a stage. That'll be awesome. 
I am saying you're too, way too lax. Poor girl. Can't catch a break. Not even with her own not, not even with her own people. Great work, Sensei. Thankfully, the Jihana students went to sleep faster than I expected. I was sure gonna, I was sure there was going to be a bloody pillow fight. All the students running the streets, streets screaming like fuck, like fleeing things like freedom. <laughs> they were all rather exhausted. I mean, they all honestly, despite all the shit that's been going on with the tour, they all looks like they all sound like they were really enjoying themselves. But naturally, we can't slack on our night patrol. You're working hard leading this field trip, Yumika. The opposite, actually. It seems like I keep showing everyone my worst. When I reflect on everything that's happened in the past day, well, I just like to curl up in a hole and disappear. I was early enough to keep in our schedule, and the itinerary seemed to be more of a, more of a suggestion. The boss would handle things much more smoothly. There's one thing that's been a bit hard. There's this one hurt saying I've heard before. Plans are worthless, but planning is everything. I mean, she's trying hard. Come on. She's trying. She's trying her best. What? I don't understand. It'll come to me naturally one day? It's mysterious. Even festivals tend to go awry, don't they? Festivals, you say? I suppose you're right. In fact, festivals rarely go exactly according to our expectations. A festival environment is usually one, one filled with surprises and challenges, so that flexibility is essential to success. However, I've never been the one to handle those unexpected situations before. That's a bit of a surprise. Well, normally the boss is spearheading our efforts. It's rather pathetic of me, isn't it? I claim to love festivals, but and I do, and I do put my all into planning and preparations. However, I'm beginning to see that I've, I've always shirked away from the most difficult aspects of managing a festival. I've been rather spoiled by the boss. I have no intention of giving up, and I know that I need to see this through to the end. I just can't help but think I, that every once in a while, if only the boss were here. That's only natural when, when taking on something new, but you put all your all, put your all into this, haven't you? I suppose. Oh boy, who's this? Whoa! Kirara? Erica? Hi, hi, we saw you patrolling and you seem kind of sad. You really need to be more careful. I didn't hurt anyone, did I? Anyways, why are you so down on yourself? That's. well. been doing a bang-up job in my opinion that's kind of you nothing went to plan today and we ended up incredibly behind schedule mm, it's been ironic coming from me but you did you de you're, de you're, de you're dealing with Gihanna students you know like Kirawa said you've been, you've been doing great considering that exactly so stop beating yourself up in this guide the view of the tree of days from the observatory was awesome everyone had fun making crafts and dinner was bomb and the test of courage was it was um, was that horrible? Sorry, sorry, it's not what I meant. It was an interesting experience, for sure, it's just certain. No, don't apologize. I already took this endeavor to hoping I could prove myself. That's all. Of course we understand. The boss would have done everything so much better. Things never go 100% according to plan. That's just life. What she needs to do is stop thinking about what the boss would do. And then... She could improve. She, if she gets out of that mindset, then she can expand and improve. That mindset is what's holding her back. Right. Unless you predict the future somehow, you can't plan for everything. I had a ton of fun today, and, if, and tomorrow's gonna be a blast too. I just know it. You two are really always so kind. Thank you. They're not just words. I mean it. Anyways, look at you two still hard at work patrolling at this hour. The guide team really, really never sleeps. Thank you. The one thing. Huh? What's wrong, Teach? Isn't it past your cure for you? Ah. Uh, we're caught! Make a break for it! Hold it right there, you troublemakers! Unless I can predict the future? 
So if I can just plan for every possible outcome, then I can prevent mishaps in our schedule going forward. Well. Everyone has their own style. Shizuko has her own style. She needs to get out of the mindset of Shizuko. If she gets out of that, things will, go, things will probably go so much smoother. In the middle of a festival. The Tree of Day is ritual! It's a two for one, a ritual and a festival. This year event takes place under the, this cherry blossom tree, the very icon of Hiyaki Yako itself. The coolest thing about the Tree of Day is that you can see it from anyone in Hiyaki Yako, which I'm sure you've noticed. We hold a ritual for the tree to pray for good blessings. This ritual has a long history of orig originating from when the people of Hiyaki Yako would pray to the tree in hopes of a bountiful harvest for the rest of the year. Usually during the festival, craftsmen from all over the district build and, and decorate or ornate plat planikins? Planikins? I don't even know what the fuck those are. That are then sent to the Tree of Days Plaza. During their long travels through the Hiyaki Yaka, the, planik the planikins deliver good fortunes and energy to our, to our many citizens. The hopes of all our people are carried all the way here and shared during the ritual. Due to short notice, you unfortunately won't see the early parts of the festival when these planikins travel to the plaza. Instead, you get to enjoy this majestic Plonaquin, representing all the other ones that can't be present today. Uh, oh, it's those things. Okay, it's, a, it's, a, it's the little, uh, it's the little temple things. Okay, you'll have a chance to see how they get, how you give offerings for the ritual right here in the Tree of Deities Plaza. And as a treat, we have someone very special taking on the role of the of the, of the Miko for the ritual. That's right, the renowned rival of Hiyaki Yaka herself. It's Cheese. Meow. <laughs> Whoa, is that a Plana coin she was talking about? It's even bigger than I thought. I thought it'd be. It could probably fit. Like, oh no, oh wait, no, it's 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 not the, it's not one of those temple things. Isn't that one of those like big old parade float things? I heard someone say people do hop on it and play instruments and other fun stuff because it travels. I want to do that. Aw, oh, man, me too. It wouldn't be that fun to do it while it's empty, though. Today I'll make up for everything that's happened thus far. The Tree of Deity ritual is intended to be the highlight of the entire field trip. As long as this goes well, I'll be able to maintain our club's reputation and live up to everyone's expectations. Thankfully, the introduction of the ritual at least went smoothly. Top it all off, they've already brought up set the fireworks that we'll be setting off at the end of the festival. That way, we're already ahead of schedule. People in the white clothes are surrounding the Plonaquin. Look, look, I didn't even know that the roof could open like that. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I read there's a small wooden box up there that holds all the good fortune stuff the tour guy was talking about. The box opens up before the Miko touches it. You'll be cursed. Well, I think you would just get like bad luck for the rest of the year or something like that. Spooky. What kind of bad luck? Huh. I don't know. Maybe like you stub your toe every time you get flat and get out of your bed, or you'll accidentally step on this particular small plastic toy, or you'll get heat stroke every time you get go outside. I didn't know Hiyakiyaku was like that. That sounds like a nightmare. Then we should help them cleanse that bad, the bad energy with fire. Here, take these incendiary grenades. Why are you giving them to me? Oh boy. As you can see here, the box must not be touched while it's being moved. Be careful to cover it with a clean white cloth and then transport it in this bamboo carrier. To ensure that good energy doesn't escape, we charm it with the flute as it's moved, being moved. I kind of spaced out, but do you want us to sing or something? Hey, do you know our school anthem? Of course not. Do you? Obviously not. Wait, did we even have one? Yeah, I was about to ask. Did, 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 do the academies even have an anthem? Dude, you scared me. I thought I was the one who didn't know. Nah, I bet you could ask anyone on the skill chip and they'd be clueless. Why right about now? Whoa, where'd all these petals come from? Look, look, they're falling from the Tree of Deities. Yes, ma'am. According to the legends, flower petals fall from the tree of deities like a pink ring when Hiyakiyaku is visited by good fortunes. 
must be really lucky today. The panels started falling when the chest finished its churn into the plaza. It's definitely not students not students sprinkling from the rooftops. Right, let's get let's let's keep that a secret. And that and at last we have the star of the hour, Cheese. I took the road less traveled, braving the twists and turns, and arrived. Our Miko, Chize is making the journey to the stage, the ritual. Bad luck be gone, for fortune has won. Hold tight with all your might. She is reciting the poem of offerings. It is the song of our prayers, delivered by the Miko to chase away bad luck and wish for good fortune. The flower blooms, let the breeze loom. Climb, climb, climb up the hill. Once the Miko is at the top of the stage, a big sheet of paper goes across the altar, just like she's doing now. What's that, Naran? Looks like a piece of wooden paper, wood paper, glue, paper glued to it. It's a ritual tool called Gohai. Go, Gohei, Gohai. It cleanses the chest and chases the bad energy energy away. Oh, I think I think I know what she's talking about. I think I do. She'll shake the Gohai above the box here and then perform the Tree of Days dance and infuse it with good. Stop right there! This farce of a ritual ends now. Huh? Huh? What's happening? Oh boy. Here we go. The more you. The more you. Troubles come! The festival is ours! Just what do you think you're doing? Ain't it obvious? We're here to take back what's ours. The Tree of Deities Ritual. The Tree of Deities Ritual is meant for Hiyaki Yako. It brings good fortune to us, only us. So I don't care if they're invited or, if they're invited or not. It, it ain't made for outsiders. What exactly is your objective here? Don't you don't get too scared, all right? I really thought this one through. It's so horrifying that it's like your, it's like your worst nightmare. And you're worse than your worst nightmare. That's right. What exactly? Those gigantic fireworks you have there, the ones you're planning on setting off at the end of the festival. We're gonna set, see them all, set them all off during the day. Is that the big? Is this the big reveal? That's right. I call this the make the impressive fireworks super underwhelmed by us setting them off during the day operation. What a fucking name. I see you quake in your boots. I know, I know. I really outdid myself in this one. You are so scared you can't even speak. We're all speechless. Hello? What's with this lukewarm reaction? You're totally misunderstanding us, aren't you? You don't think you can pull off a horrible act like this? You stop accusing us of being scared. You are the scared ones? Scared of us big, bad, scary criminals. No one even said you were scared. Why don't you believe me? Dang it! What happened to the ritual? I don't know, maybe this is the part of it? Oh yeah, I heard the princess Walrook Walrock Rock Rock Walraku? God damn. The performance they put on regular is interactive. Maybe they're doing the same thing here. You're smarter than I think you sometimes. Maybe if we wait it out, something cool will happen. Erica, Erica. This probably isn't a performance, right? I'd say not. How do you want to go about this? Sensei first? They'll probably be with Yumika too. Oh boy. What's she doing? Ceases immediately! I won't allow you to meddle with our schedule! The fireworks will occur exactly on time in the meeting as I scheduled. That's why my plan is so diabolical, but send them off right now whether you like it or not! Sometimes someone hasn't even done their homework. As she said, the fireworks aren't even aren't at this location. In the normal ritual, the fireworks are set up hours beforehand, but today they're being brought in just before the end of the ritual. Uh huh? That's not how this is, how it's normally done. I didn't know that. That's so unfair. You suck. Oh boy, is something wrong, Yumika? Your expression appears shocked and concerned. Well, um, is this the pile of fireworks here? The leader over here. How is that possible? Me attempting to get ahead of schedule instead of the fireworks beforehand backfired? Oh boy. No, I'll not allow this, Morio. I will fight to my very last breath to protect this festival for the Jana students and for Sensei. You will not lay a single finger on those fireworks. 
Calm down, Imika. Um, not to Narod, but are you sure it's okay to fight in Trade Daddy's Plaza? That feels wrong for some reason. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. Oh, well. She's not wrong. It's either that or lose the fireworks. Alright. Poor Yumika. She tried to get ahead of the game and it just went and it just went flipped on its head. She tries too hard. The fuck is that? Me. What a relief, he thwarted the earth efforts. Everything will be okay. I'll protect these fireworks until evening, no matter what. The leader, there's no there's trouble! The pile! The pile of fireworks! Huh? What happened? The fireworks caught on fire during the fight! Huh? Take cover, they're gonna blow! Or not, the fireworks display used for the ritual are very big, so we use treatments to ensure they're not too sensitive and don't accidentally light. A little bit of fire will be no problem. But there'll be, there'll be no show if those fireworks burn up. We need to do something quickly. Sorry, sorry. I'm late, leader. The chicken skewer I passed by just looked oh so delicious. Huh? Ow, what's this? Huh? Pile of fireworks? Uh-oh. Hold on. On top of the pile of fireworks, the rock launcher ammo just ignited? No! Ah, oh, there they go. Oh boy. Well, they tried. Good efforts. <laughs> what can be done? Oh boy. There they go. The sparks are flying everywhere. We need to put it out before it spreads. Now. Water! A fire extinguisher! Anything? Help! If the fire spreads too far, the trade days ritual will be ruined! And she's a... She's still on stage! Fire dances are on the stage. Fireworks. Sparkles are pretty. I don't think she's really... I don't think she's really faced. Hot! Everything's burning up! The fire system won't stop exploding! The stage, is the stage is impossible. The buildings around us are doomed if we don't do something. Wow, this is way too much. What do we do? This, this is. What should we do, leader? We set up the fireworks. Does that mean we won? This is. This isn't it. I didn't mean for things to go this far. I don't want to wreck everything. Leader, it's dangerous. It's way too hot. Ah, there she goes. 
hubris caused this. I should have believed I could predict the future and deviate from the plan without, without telling anyone. What's this? From the very beginning, I've created failure after failure. I failed to keep the group on schedule. I failed as a tour guide. Yes, my shortcomings. I believed I could make all make up for, up for them. My determination to have the fireworks show on time instigated these events. Stupid. What would the boss do done indifferently? The president had been here. She wouldn't have she would have succeeded in all pl all places I failed. My competencies. Me. I ruined everything. I ruined Hiyaki Yaku's reputation. I ruined Jihana's field trip. She's way too hard on herself. Oh boy. Oh, that was her. Never mind. That was her silhouette. I thought that was somebody different. Sensei? This isn't over yet. But it is! I ruined everything I touched! I can't do this on my own! I only had it brought up in the prop in the fireworks and the brought in the fireworks start early. I was out of line, believing I could do something out of my out of my own, of my own volition. It was, my, it was my foolishness that I can only apologize for. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'm so sorry. I never should have accepted this role. I truly hoped. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore when I thought what I thought. I'm just I'm sorry, I, I failed everyone. Now Mika, this isn't a failure. Everyone sees all the effort you put in. Effort means nothing, Sensei. Nothing. What was meant to be an unforgettable experience for Jihana was ended in disaster. Do you think so? Take a look. Hmm? Is it just me or are the vibes kind of off? Nah, this is probably part of the festival. The Yakiyako students really know how to party. Everything's exploding and burning. I would have thought of doing this. This feels like a challenge. I'm itching to join in. Quick, give me the rocket launcher. What are you going to do with that? Think about it. If I launch a grenade into the sky with it, then it'll explode away way up there. Oh, like a firework. Now you're talking. You got some good ideas sometimes. Oh boy. Uh, um uh, I don't know. What do I what do I do? You gotta step out of it, leader. The more yo follow you, we need to you need you need you need to follow lead us, leader. You're right. We're doing this. Fire us to the left and to the right, up and down. So pretty! Yeah, she's not phased about this at all. Huh? Do I all look... No one is scared? Yeah. Lives up, to, lives up to expectations. What do you mean? Oh boy. Ah oh boy. Yep. Sounds about right with this group. With this group. We're dealing with you after all. Ah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. And regardless, this doesn't change the fact that I'm entirely to blame. But there's no need to panic to be or beat yourself up. After all, what are friends for, right, Yumika? How are you doing over here, Yumika? Pina, things are beyond crazy right now, but we can ask for any everyone to help. To help? Yes, help. There's so many people to ask. The Jihana students, our fellow Yaku Yaku classmates. I'm meant to be a guide to ask others to fix my mistakes. There's nothing wrong with that. Sabaki? Needing a helping hand doesn't mean you're, you're, you're irresponsible. No one can do everything by themselves. No, but if the boss were here... And she would be doing the same thing. What? Again, she needs to get out of the mindset of the boss this, the boss that. She's a goes encountered seemingly unsolvable problems too, but she reached out for help and overcame them. It's kind of true. I mean, she did reach out with the whole uh, Miko thing with the, uh, the Yaki Yorin. And, uh, then that whole nonsense. Hey, how's everyone holding up over here? Erica? Kirara? We had this nagging feeling you could use our help. 
That's right. We're here in a, we're a bit of a pickle, aren't we? Yes, we need to put out the fire quick. Here everyone, here everyone was saying that this was part of the festival. Well, consider the Johanna student body at your, st your service. Whatever you need. What can we possibly do? I mean, something too drastic may cause panic. We're at a loss right now. Don't sweat it. Let's sweat the small stuff. There's always a way. You really think so? That's right. All we need to do is, is the valiant guide that led us through this village to take charge now. Guide? Who? I mean, there's only one guide. It's time for you to shine, Yumika. For me to shine? Okay. Sensei, everyone, I believe I have a plan. I apologize for this shameless request, but could I ask for your aid one last time? Yes! May I have your attention, please? To everyone at Hiyakiyako and our esteemed Jihina guests. Fire you're seeing around you is an interactive part of the festival that requires audience participation. As the plaza is engulfed in flames, our beloved Miko is in danger. The flames are growing ever closer to the stage. Left as is, left as is, the fire will claim both this plaza and the Miko. We must all gather our wits and strength to overcome this adversity. If we are successful in this endeavor, the Tree of Days will recognize the friendship and camaraderie we have built and bestow good fortunes upon us all. But really? Do, do you get what she's saying, Erica? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Let's just see what happens. We'll go help. See you soon, Sensei. Yumika. Please stay safe. It's a party, classmates. I heard what she said, too. Extinguish the fire and rescue the Miko. Pretty straightforward, right? This whole thing was just a big performance? Yep, and we're at the big, the big finale. Come on, don't you want to finish the ritual? You better hurry. They're starting without you. This way, Kaede will thank us for these flames until not even their embers exist. We'll need more fire to do, water to do that. Buckets, bottles, wherever you can get your hands on. Oh, it should be fire lighting buckets. Fire fighting buckets. Oh, fire, uh, fire fighting buckets. Fire lighting buckets. Yeah, let's add more fire to the fire. We'll do this step by step. Wait up, Miss Guide, I'll help you out. I'll join the fun. You sure you don't want to miss out? I didn't know it was like that. I don't want to be left out. Eh, there they go. There they all go. You need to move quickly, Morio. Hurry! Uh-huh, me? Yes, you. You don't want the festival to fail either, no? Yeah. I just wanted to mess, mess with it a little. I didn't want the whole thing to go up in flames. Come here, Morio. We got work to do. Well, at least they're... They take responsibility, I guess. Leader, give us your orders. The Tree of Days is in danger. At this rate, the whole festival is done for. You're exactly right. Nothing matters more than making sure the Tree of Days doesn't burn. Our new enemy is the fire. We're going to put it out with all our might. Understood, leader? We'll protect our vessel with our own hands. Right. Well, they got, they got everybody working. Everyone's having fun. Let them all go. Oh boy. 
Ah, uh, well, there's the prefect team. We got here as fast as we could as once we saw the fire. I'm relieved to see they have the situation under control. The prefect team? I thought you had a meeting. Our meeting was conveniently located right next to the festival. Nia, yeah, was it? That Yin Yang Club president person organized everything. But more importantly, what the hell happened here? Let's assess the situation and see if we can provide aid. Ah, there she is, Yukari! For students to reach beyond the borders of their, their academies. They united at a time of great peril, clasping hands as strangers, yet acting as one. This touching sight was more has truly moved me. I simply cannot express it this, de de this deluge of feelings. We can hardly take a back seat now, can we, Kikyo? Kikyo. My sentiments exactly. The Hyaki Yarn will rise to the occasion. Nia, yeah, she's been skiing from the start, as usual. <laughs> and now, one last time, I'd like to again introduce the Dowsing Miko, the Tree of Deities ritual. Thanks to the hard work of each and every one of you, the audience members, our Miko is safe to return to the stage and will now proceed with the, over the final ceremony. Yaki Yaku sure loves their interactive festivals. That's great, right? When the la when's the last time you went to a party like this? I gotta hand it to them. I'm sure it was all under control, but it felt so real. Uh, I guess it worked out. We all knew that Hiyaki Yaku was really known for their, fe for their tourism and festivals, but they and they, and they lived up to it. It was so fun. I'm, so I'm sad it's all over. I wish we could save it for one more day. Let's not open the door to more accidents. Huh? What do you mean accidents? Uh, I mean, I said exit dances. Go have fun with them before we leave. What's up? It's just, I thought it was a pretty good trip. Hmm? Yeah, they all had fun. The dance you are watching now is for the prayer and dedication. Another one for the books, right? Yep. Everyone's having a good time. That's all that matters in the festival. Festival time here. People celebrating as the curtain falls. There we go. I thought they got rid of all the fireworks. Where'd this one come from? I thought they launched all the fireworks that they had. Oh boy. Invincible memories. I was expect <clears throat> assuming things would go out and get out of hand with you Hannah involved, but it was pretty mild. But congratulations to you on the successful field trip. Not that I would have expected anything less than Sensei. And you make it did great too. It was an it was an entertaining excellent idea job done. You were pretty concerned about this, weren't you? What do you mean? You wouldn't have set up the meeting with the prefect team otherwise. I had a feeling you were scheming behind the scenes. You give me too much credit. It was all happy coincidence. I wanted to see an intriguing story that'd be fun for for everyone. If it just so happened that the outcome was a meaningful one, though, well, I'm not complaining. <clears throat> all just a happy coincidence, if you say so. I do say so. Ah, uh, how is this our fault? It was a little dramatic, sure, but it wasn't on purpose. Didn't the fire get, out, get put out? Well, so what's the big deal? Yeah, we even helped out. We were part of the festival's performance. And you did, you made me, you did light him up. Are you properly reflecting on the error of your ways while completing your, your volunteer hours, Morio? There's no way I could just, I just heard someone complaining, right? <gasps> Us? Complaining? Ain't no way. Look at how look at how we're cleaning. We could practically eat off this floor. And we clean this whole area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're doing great. I've got more important matters to attend to attend to. Bye. Oh boy. Is she gone? Ah, it's not fair. Not fair at all. Y'all better watch out next at the next festival. Oh cool, the Tengu Mask Marge is starting. 
Check it out, Yamabushi. I love those things. <laughs> Are y'all even working? We're supposed to be taking responsibility. Yeah, yeah, but first, watch this, leader. Tw torch in hand, upstairs, and the bird flies. <laughs> oh, boy. Is that so? Huh. Poor girl. Ah, there's Hina. I'm surprised to see you assistant, assistant Hiyaki Yako sensei I got roped into it, somehow. Like everything else. Diligent as always, sensei. If I hadn't been aware of the situation. Hina? Nah, she would've been, she would've been to our side to help in a jiffy. Nothing at all, just wishful thinking. You know, we all know that Hina would rush to our side. We all know this. I'm happy to have you run into you, I'll be a little late. I know, it's good to see you too, Hina. Really? Hold on, did you forget about me? Uh, poor Akko. I thought I was going to, I thought, I thought I was going to lose my mind during the Hiyaki Yon meeting. I was forced to handle every form of interference in those pandemonium society and greats. Those raccoons. Should you not, on a field trip, go off to enjoy your stupid trip? No, it shows to just be disruptive, uh, obstinate, and distractible every step of the way. Even though, even through online communications. I mean, I'll give it to the Pandemonium Society. They did help out with the test of courage stuff. They didn't really cause too much of the trouble. Unlike, <laughs> unlike the Gourmet Society <laughs> and the Hot Springs Department. The Pandemonium Society was actually very tame this time around. And furthermore, why, simply, why was the Prefect team in charge of managing the meeting with Hiyaki Yako? Is the Pandemonium Society not the student council? Should they not have been the ones to assume that even one iota of responsibility? There's delegation and there's... Akko. What's done is done. Try to enjoy the rest of the festivities while you're still here. At Prefect? Then I'll take care take you on a tour of the uh, to test of courage. I've been undergoing some vigorous, vigorous tour guide training. <laughs> Sensei? If you don't mind. Hmm. You're only off the hook because the head prefect is so monog mon monogamous. Don't forget that. Oh, we know she's happy. Yes, yes, of course. Nah, she's happy. She's just wanted a minute. Did you enjoy your field trip? I hope everyone had fun at Hiyaki Yako. They're all welcome back at any time. Ah, uh, what time what goes up must come down. We must say our sorrowful goodbyes. If I am not one to wall in sadness. I'll just eagerly wait the day our paths cross again. Bye bye friends. We'll make we'll play Mushy Queen the next time we see each other. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's that time already. Bye everyone. <laughs> well, he'll be boring soon. It's nice to meet all you two, so keep in touch. Goodbye, Yumika, Pina, Kaide, Tsubaki, and you too, Sensei. I mean, I'm sure we'll run into each other sooner rather than later, Sensei. I mean, man, that's that's true. We're everywhere. Don't ruin the mood. Hit us up if you're ever in Chihenna. Bye! See you soon! I'll give the, I'll give those two props. They really stepped up to the plate. Faster than we could blink, the field chip ended more, more, more or less safely, and with many memories of the students, the students to take home. New connections were forged, and then with them, stories to tell for years to come. Really? Ah, what's Makoto been up to? And with this, my influence will extend beyond Jihan into Hiyaki Yako. Though for some, it just created delusions. <laughs> oh no. The after party! This is always the best part in the movies. Cheers! Cheers. Is Shizuko gonna appear? Ah, oh, there's Memori. I truly enjoyed your story, Yumika. I'm thoroughly impressed. It's not to be impressed about. Kaide, Smaki, you put you both you put you put forth exemplary work as well. You mean it? <laughs> that makes me that makes me one step closer to being a proper lady. But sure there is to see it. I couldn't believe when she turned into a festival. The fire you're seeing around you is an interactive part of the festival, which requires audience participation. That that bit was mind blowing. I couldn't have done any of it without Erica and Karara. And Cynthia's support. It was Yumiku who stepped forward. And seize the moment. No, no, it was due to each and every one of you. If not for you, I would have been uttered out of the loss. I nearly gave up. Yumika, it's times like these you need to step talking. Just take the, take the compliment. Is that Shizuko? Oh. Isn't that... Oh, then no, it's you. 
Yes, the president. Oh, wait, it is her. The president of the, the, the fossil department. There she is. She's late to the party. I heard all the juicy details. You need to be proud of what you, did, you accomplished, Yumika. I couldn't have done any better myself. Really? I told you so, Yumika. See? Everyone is saying it, so carry yourself with a little confidence. Puff out your chest and say, I made this happen. I can take any challenge and turn it into a successful festival. It truly all still feels like a dream, but... I do really like the idea of making everything a festival. Everything, you say? In retrospect, things get things turned out look well turned out well because we made it a festival, right? In the end, I guess the field trip is a festival. When one festival ends, what do we do next, Pina? We begin preparations for the next one. Where are the festival operations department at the all? Yes, I'm brimming with ideas. We'll hold a shopping district festival to hire a dance company with bells and flutes and sh shamans and drums and wait, wait, wait! I'm glad you're so excited, but. Did I hear you right? I'm ready for the next event. Uh, make sure to schedule a nap time. <laughs> oh boy, she's just she loves the festivals a little too much. Oh boy. Um, Sensei. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure where to even begin, honestly. But above all, I'd like to, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. There really is a lot to talk about. First and foremost, congratulations. Congratulations? For what? Oh, you're referring to the successful con conclusion of my first festival? <laughs> thank you, Sensei. But, Sensei? The next time you visit Hiakiyako, please keep us in mind. We'll put on a bigger, more exciting festival than anything you've ever seen, you've ever experienced. Oh boy. Someone tells me that she'd be able to do that too. Yumiko's a good girl. She just loves festivals just a little too much. Festival craze. Alright, that's that event. I, I, that was fun. I like that event. I still like the Hina, Hina's, uh... Hina's event a little bit more because you could actually you could have actually explored around uh, Kabotas a little bit, albeit very limited. But this I like this one. Um, I think I like this one a little bit better than uh. Actually, I think I like this. I think I like this. I, like, <laughs> I like this one better than the last one we had with the uh, problem solvers, and I think I like this one better than the uh, the camping trip one with the uh, with the Trinity girl. I think Trinity, right? With the uh, with the. No, it's not Trinity. It's, uh... Millennium, that's it. That's, that's what it was. I like this event, though. It was cool. But, um... That's gonna be for this part. So, I'm not... I don't know when the next... I don't know when the next story update is gonna be. Hope it's gonna be soon. Um, I might actually try pulling for Yumi, because, uh... She's, she's cute. She won me over. I had to, I had, I had to get her now. So... Uh, when we come back, hope maybe we'll do another event, or we'll do some actual story. We'll find out. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next part. Later.